you can't go that that hot heavy run that quick too, because like just because I think your muscles get ahead of everything. You right. know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like if you just go in a sprint, I guarantee you're still fast. I guarantee you're fast as shit, but you'd probably pop a hamstring. Right. It'd need exactly. to be like a very gradual process. You're absolutely right. Look at that wisdom. You get that on tape, dude? Perform. Yeah, exactly. For more confidence and, you know, practicing form. So important. Because without form, you don't lose leverage. Without leverage, normally you won't move what you want to. But you got good form, you use leverage. With a little insanity, the shit moves for you. That's right. Yep. Just like that. Good form. Good. Yep. Good. Good form. Yep. Good. What we're doing here is what's traditionally known as a deload week. We like to call it a reload week um, because uh, deload is suggests you're kind of like, I don't know, sitting there with your thumb up your ass like you know, watching up reruns of The Simpsons or something. This is more like a proactive process. What it means is we're gonna go, we're gonna do less volume. Today he's gonna go up to where the 705s that we're shooting for, 60% of that, 425. So do six singles there, resting 30, 60 seconds between, and they're gonna be on the clock like usual, but when he feels ready, he'll go again, get it done quick, get in, get out. So what the purpose of this is, is it's not a blow off week. When you, if you're doing this in your own training, this is not to take it easy. It's not like you show up to the gym, hung over and do nothing. This is, to, this is a way to, to perfect your technique. This is a technique perfection week. You're not gonna build your technique with 90 plus percent. You're gonna build it with sub-maximal weights like we're doing here, so this is not a waste of time. You still wanna do it with perfect time, you know, with perfect uh, form, you know, good speed, all that stuff. But at the same time, here's what I do recommend to, to make it a little bit different. If you take any kind of stimulants, um, you know, pre-workouts, cocaine, any, something in between there. Oh, okay, <laughs> sorry. Okay, just like your pre-workouts, seriously, cycle off them. This is a good time to take a break from your caffeine. You get back, you, then when you start training heavy again, it's like your first time all over again. So our, for bodybuilding, remember the purpose of the reloads to get, develop that mind-muscle connection. For powerlifting on these movements, it's to get that technique beaten perfect. And then on the bodybuilding like type of leg curls, you wanna fill it out for the hamstrings contract. That's the purpose, so we're about 60%, six singles. Some of you guys go a little heavier than that, but Johnny, we've, we've worked already worked together many times, so I know he does better with an even lower intensity reload week. So deload to reload. Technique day today, here we go. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Very good. We talked about that, Nick and I, and. You know, we talked about bringing Josh in, about how I feel about, you know, deadlifting again or doing a series on deadlifting. Um, and uh, I have to admit, you know, it had been a while since I've deadlifted, so I was a little bit hesitant. Because nobody, you know, doing the things that I've done over the years and where I am now, um, I don't know if it, most people that would want to come out right now and reveal you know, how much less they can do compared to the ideal that they left in by everybody's head. You know, so when we first started talking about it, this is what was going around in my head and I had to maul it over and I had to sleep on it and I had dreams about it and stuff like this. Cause like I said, there's no man wanna come out, especially bodybuilding for 17 years, you know, at a high level, you don't wanna come out and show any kind of weakness. You know, you, you learn that through the years, you never show any weakness. But you know what? Um, it's like that, you know, old, one of the old sayings say, either you use it or you lose it. Well, I found out that I wasn't using it, so I lost it. And I have to admit, I was scared to come out and show everybody that I did. Here we go, come on. Yep. Here we go. Yep. Good. That's it on the deadlifts. So today, um, Johnny was at 425, six singles. There was no prescribed rest bake. It's basically when he felt like going. So get a recovery. It's lightweight. I mean, it's 
So he took about 30 seconds or so, walk up, do it, reset, good form, and that's the whole purpose of today. It's to get good form, to recover, build your technique. And the bottom line is when you're training like this, I mean, we're gonna train hard, we're gonna train heavy, we're not gonna skimp on the volume, but at the end of the day, when it comes to a power to meet, I cannot guarantee you to have the fastest horse in the race, but it will be the, he will be the freshest horse in the race. That's the bottom line is we gotta be ready to go game day and you prepare with reloads. Uh, having Josh <laughs> with my back and, and he gives me so much confidence because I know that he's gonna be put me in the right position, um, give me the right weight, um, give me the, the correct amount of motivation and confidence, you know, to get better each week. So my confidence in him helped push me to saying, come on, let's, let's go do it. And, um, you know, the first day I was super nervous, but pushed through it anyway. You know, like I said, I had great support and backup. So with that by your side, it's like no matter what anybody else out there see, they must believe in me if they're here with me. One way I can describe this exercise is I feel it in that Christmas tree area. You know, so when I do compete, you'll see a great difference. And when I set up and do the Christmas tree for the back leg spread, it'll be a much improvement. And that's for you guys who don't know too much about powerlifting and the movements and where it helps. That'll give you an idea of the area where this helps. You know, so that was good enough for me to push through that first day. And once I did, oh my God, I can't tell you. I mean, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it right now. I'm so excited. When that Wednesday was over, I couldn't wait till the next Wednesday um, so we can get in here and get it on again. Um, and it's been like that each week and my confidence is growing. My motivation is growing. The numbers in my head are growing. I don't know if you guys, well, I know you guys are watching, but I don't know if you're specifically watching my feet, but while I'm performing this exercise, I don't have my foot just dangling and doing the exercise. I actually have my foot, my toes pointed towards my knee or my ankle flexed upward or my toes upwards. And what that does, keeping it like that and performing the exercise helps you squeeze the hamstring a lot more. Keeping it dangled, you don't squeeze as hard, but keeping your ankle flexed really makes you squeeze that hamstring. So if you don't know how to squeeze or flex your hamstring, flex your ankle up or have your toes raise up, and that'll help you to flex your hamstring and learn how to. So I only can tell you guys, stay tuned. You know, we really are bringing you guys some really great stuff. Um, we're cutting out all the bull. You know, this is real life. Um, I'm over with, you know, I'm this, I'm that. I'm Johnny Jackson. Um, yes, I am a pro bodybuilder, but I'm a fan of bodybuilding and I'm a fan of lifting. You know, and lifting heavy is my favorite. So I'm here, I'm here, it, it's raw. Um, we're bringing it to you. Um, I wanna be used as a, as a tool to help bring in, you know, what's real and how you guys can improve and the guys who hadn't done it and want to do it will do it right and succeed and not have a bad experience trying it and say, I'll never do that again, you know? So, um, you know, I'm putting my heart into it um, and uh, giving it to you each week. Uh, Josh and Nick, they're doing the same thing. As soon as they hit the gym, they're pouring it in, in me and uh, motivating me even more and I'm throwing it out to you guys. So I hope you appreciate it. Um, stay with us each week, see what happens. Hopefully I won't fail, but who knows? It won't be from a lack of trying. I guarantee you that. See you soon. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Wednesday's workouts have definitely improved yeah, every day workout. You know, um, I, I don't have any choice uh, to be honest because I can't expect to improve in deadlift and not something give on my body if I'm not training everything else the same. I always say, I always say this to my clients, it's never one thing strong, it's everything strong. It's just that, like that old uh, saying, 
you know, this is weak, but when you close it, it's strong, you know? So when, they, when your fingers are individuals, they're weak. But when you close it and make that fist, you knock them out, guarantee you, you know? So, you know, that's the same thing with everything strong. You have to have the supporting muscles just as strong as the major muscles that are doing the work. Very important or something's gonna give. You know, just, just the bottom line. So be smart.